Alright, so finally, after long last, Seamus has made his in-ring return. You know, he's been sitting in these rooms, these dark, dark rooms. Or is it just one room? I think it's just one dark, scary room for the past, like, month. So I'm sure he's had a, had a great time in there. Um, don't know what he would get up to, besides cutting his promos. But um, nevertheless, he's back, and he has left the room, and he's on SmackDown now, doing his thing, which is great to hear about because I haven't seen it yet but that's what I'm going to do today I'm going to see Seamus make his in-ring return so it says here for the video that Seamus returns and lays waste to Shorty G now that obviously tells us that Seamus is going to be a heel I think we all knew this from the promos like he just had that heel attitude so I guess that's cool you know he's just going to stay as a heel but just with a fresh trim and by the looks of it like the old attire which is cool but I would have liked to see Seamus as a baby face, I'm not gonna lie, but you know, it's alright, whatever. So without further ado, let's sit back, relax, and enjoy the return of Seamus. Hopefully he has great things to come in the very near future, but he might just get buried. I'm not I'm not gonna be surprised if that happens. But I feel like no, he should be. Like he's one of the top dogs, so he should definitely get a championship run sometime very soon. But I feel like what he'll be doing now is just destroying all the baby faces. Like every week. You know, establishing dominance because he's saying like all the competition is weak. Smackdown is pathetic. And I, the Celtic Warrior, need to beat them up. Anyway, let's do this. Alrighty then. Shorty G on the top rope. So he's against Dash Wilder. Near fall. Up in the shoulders, advert, can you kindly piss off? Oh, like a lock. Oh, nice. Oh yeah, Scott Dawson's on commentary there. Inspirational. Please tell me how he's inspirational, because he's small in stature, that's why he's inspirational. Oh, that was nice. Kick at it too. Many people believe the world's flat. Doesn't make it a fact, okay? Shorty G was in the Olympics in 2012, representing the United States. He went to the finals of the King of the Suplex. Amateur Maybe not. Stuff, and nice counter. Cover. Oh, and actually, he's gonna go for the anchor Dash! again. Oh, no. Dash! Shorty G. Oh, no way. Come on, Dash. Oh, God, Scott Dawson ain't too happy. Oh! with a cheap shot from behind. Oh, no, the attack is on. But now Seamus is going. So Seamus is going to maybe pretend to be a baby face, like he's going to come out and help Shorty G. Oh, that's such a good finisher. But then he'll just attack Shorty G as well. I'm going to call him Chad Gable. I that name's disgusting. Shorty G. Who the fuck came up with that? Okay, here we go. Oh my goodness. Is he gonna do the Cesaro thing, maybe? Yeah. Oh! Yo, that's so cool. He doesn't even need Cesaro to make that cool as well. Just to. Uh, that's all we need. Here he comes. So they try to put push Chad Gable there. Oh no. Oh, oh no. Oh. <laughs> Yo, that was fucking lethal. Did you see the way he landed there? There stands a man who suffers from no shortage of respect from the WWE. He has got a bad attitude. Seamus has talked a lot in recent weeks about the quote lesser men who are now running Friday Night SmackDown. Seamus wants to lead. Seamus stands tall. The revival got away. Scott Dawson free. Get it, Scott free. Scott Dawson free. <laughs> and Chad Gable does pay the price there. So, unlucky mate. I'm sure you'll get him next time. But that's great that Seamus is back now. It just adds a little bit more to SmackDown, you know. SmackDown is already great, but Seamus being there just adds that little bit extra on there. I also saw that John Morrison made an appearance on SmackDown. Um, but I'm not going to react to that because it's like 30 seconds long and it's probably just, it's him backstage probably just saying like, oh, hello, hello guys, welcome back to another video, something like that. <laughs> 
Uh, maybe not. And then, I also saw that the Usos have returned to SmackDown as well, which I will be reacting to literally right now. So I'm gonna cut this video and then go straight into the next one and see the Usos coming back. So SmackDown is looking like a pretty nice place to be at, I'm not gonna lie. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed this one today and if you did then make sure you drop a like on the video for me. Subscribe down below if you are new for more videos like this. Thank you all so very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.